What is going on YouTube? It's your boy Spanko and today I'm excited because I'm bringing you guys another deck profile. Now this deck that I'm going to be showing you guys actually is going to be Cyber Dragon. It's a deck that I haven't updated in a while, but it got some support recently that not a lot of people are talking about. It's very much indirect support, but it's very, very powerful. Make sure to like and subscribe if you guys enjoy. And with that being said, let's get right into the deck profile. So the first thing we're starting off here with is three Cyber Dragon. Of course, this is an OTK build of Cyber Dragon. So you have to be playing the three Cyber Dragon. It's just way too important to not play. This on its own is a board breaker, which is insane. And it's one of those board breaking cards that actually can't get interrupted. As long as this is summoned on your side of the field, you can essentially contact fuse anything in the extra monster zone. So it itself is just a board breaker. Now that's the thing with all the Cyber Dragon names, three core as well, because it counts as a Cyber Dragon on board, which means that it's gonna be able to search you a card, but on top of that, it's a board breaker. And the same thing goes with Cyber Dragon hers as well. We're playing three hers. Of course, hers is really powerful in a lot of different ways. Of course, being able to get you to your Cyber Dragon, being able to recur your core is very, very powerful. So for that reason, we do like playing the three hers. And again, it itself is a board breaker. Lastly, we're just playing the one Nasher. I don't want to play more than one Nasher. It's a cool extender, but it's not something you definitely want to start a lot of your combos with. It requires extra cards essentially. So I just like playing the one that you can search later on in the game if you really need it. Now that's it for the Cyber Dragon monsters. I'm not playing any other Cyber Dragon monsters. For other monsters, we're playing the one Jizukiru. Jizukiru is really powerful, of course, as a board breaker, and Kaijus in general are really good in today's format. It's also searchable in this deck, which is really good. We're playing one Regulus, which is a very powerful card. Of course, it's an Omni Negate on its own, but Regulus just makes a lot of sense in this deck because one, it's easy to set up. Two, it's actually searchable, which I'll show you guys how it's searchable in this deck. There's actually two different ways that you guys can search it. So that's why we're playing the one Regulus. Even if you wanted to go second in OTK, this card is still really good because it's a 2800 beater for you. It helps you extend, and that's just really, really powerful. So one Regulus. And then this card right over here, I want to explain it's the Gizmek Orochi. Now, Gizmek Orochi is actually very powerful in this deck. It is kind of like a win more if you're using it to OTK, but it actually synergizes really, really well with the card that I'm going to be mentioning soon, which is like the, essentially the support for this deck, the indirect support for this deck, and it being a level eight machine is very, very powerful. So again, when I get into this, I will, um, or when I get into the other card, I will explain why this is so powerful, but it is a very powerful machine monster that you can use uh, for a lot of your plays and just helping you win games. So the one gives like, that's it for our monsters. We're only playing these. You want to play a very low monster count because essentially the monsters most of the time are the bricks in your deck. These are the cards that you want to get to through a lot of your spells. If you open one to two monsters and then the rest of your hand is board breakers, that's really important and keep in mind you want to go second so you're always going to be drawing a sixth card so if you are wanting to go second you're most likely going to see some sort of board breakers some sort of monsters because you're going to have that extra card right so that's it for the monsters and then we're going to go straight into our hand traps here so we're playing three ash blossom as well as three imperm uh, that's it for actual hand traps that we're playing because you guys are going to see we're going to be playing a lot more board breakers and hand traps i just think these two are just so generic so that's why you have to be playing uh these six i guess right so three and three i think is just very very important very self-explanatory then of course we are playing all the power spells that Cyber Dragon has access to. So three Cyber Emergency, of course, is really, really powerful. Searches you into your core and any Cyber Dragon name that you need is very, very powerful. So you wanna be playing that. One Repair Plant and one Rev System. These cards are really powerful. Repair Plant is kind of a brick because it does require setup, but it is a card that you can search um, with your core if you already have access to Cyber Emergency and all that other stuff. So Repair Plant is really good. Rev System is a monster reborn. And then actually you're playing one Overload Fusion. So Overload Fusion is something that I cut for the longest time, but it's actually a card that I think is really, really powerful now because we're playing Thrust in the deck, which you guys will see and because you're playing thrust you can actually search your overload overload for me was always replaced by cyberload because you can search the cyberload but now you can search the overload and overload is just way better so that's why i like playing the one overload instead of the cyberload although if you guys wanted to you guys can definitely play the cyberload here instead but Cyberload is just, or Overload, I should say, is just way too powerful. Uh, then we're playing two Machine Dupe. Yes, we're only playing two. I know. You guys are going to call me crazy because you guys are going to be like, why are you playing two Machine Dupe in a deck that wants to OTK? You open Core Machine Dupe. Machine Dupe is not once per turn. So a lot of the time, if you normal summon Core, if they don't Ash your Core, you activate Machine Dupe, they're going to be like, okay, well, I have to Ash this. And then if they Ash this, you have a second one, you're, you're still very, very powerful, right? Because it's not once per turn. But you only want to play two. I just wanted to keep this deck as tight as possible. It's 41 cards in the main deck. I didn't want to bump it up to 42. Technically, you could if you wanted to. But the reason I'm only playing the two is, again, because you need to see another name with it, aka your core. And I just didn't like having to rely on all those combos, right? Thrust is going to get me to it if uh, if I need it, essentially, right? So that's why only two Machine Dupe. Then we're playing three Clockwork Knight. Clockwork Knight is insane. This card, essentially, what it does is it makes all cards on the field machine. It's really good because now 
this is a board breaker for you. This and any Cyber Dragon game essentially outs an entire board. And then on top of that, if this is in the graveyard, you can banish it, add an Earth Machine. So this is one of the ways you're gonna be able to search a Regulus in your deck, which is really, really powerful. Then for the card, that actually gave this deck the most support. It's three duality. Duality is very, very important in this deck because you guys are gonna see that the levels in this deck, so your Cyber Dragon being level five, your Gizmec being level eight, but even stuff like in your extra deck is very, very powerful as well. Chimera Tech Fortress is a level eight dark, and you guys are gonna see when we get into the extra deck why that's so powerful. But duality being a quick play is so broken because it means that you can activate it into the battle phase, which is absolutely insane. So not only does it help you dodge cards like Imperm and whatnot, um, it's also gonna help you OTK, it's gonna help you get into a lot of different combos. So three duality, again, it's not a Cyber Dragon card, but it's a uh, very, very powerful support. Then we're playing three thrust, like I mentioned earlier. Thrust is gonna search you into uh, any of these cards. So it's gonna search you into Overload if you need it. Rev System technically if you need it as well. It can search you into these, it can search you into these. Um, so it's, it's really, really powerful. But what you're gonna be searching a lot of the time is your talents over here. So we're playing two talents and two lightning storms. So these are your board breakers. Of course, you wanna go second, you wanna be able to break boards. Now thrust obviously helps you search these, but the really cool thing about this deck and the really cool thing about thrust in my opinion is that if you open your board breakers, you can thrust into your starters and your extenders. So stuff like Cyber Emergency, Overload, etc. Now, if you open Machine Dupe, uh, Cyber Emergency, Overload, then you can thrust into your board breakers. So that's a really cool thing about thrust in this deck is because there's so many power spells in this deck, if you open one side of the engine, you can search the other. So that's why I think thrust is really, really powerful. But that's it for the deck. 41 cards, I did not wanna make it more than 41. Honestly, you can cut one storm make it 40 because you can thrust for the storm. But I still like two storm, of course, when you're going second, the sixth card is really, really powerful. So again, that's it for the main deck. Um, 41 cards wouldn't change this up at all. I think it's super, super powerful. And then for the extra deck over here, we're playing some pretty standard stuff. So one Seeger, one All Mirage, one Anima, and one Lina. I think Lina is really, really powerful in this deck, of course. So pretty standard, I would say. Um, nothing too crazy over here. Uh, we're playing the one Nova and the one Infinity, of course. You're not playing two because you don't play the Cyber or the Galaxy Soldier, I mean, package. So because you're not playing the Galaxy Soldier package, it doesn't make sense to play more than these. And you want to go second in OTK anyways, right? So that's why one on one is fine. And then we're actually choosing to play uh, Sargas. So Sargas is really good because if you do end up breaking your opponent's board and you can't actually OTK them, you can make Sargas with stuff like your Gizmec. You can make it with cards like your uh, extra deck over here, which is your Fortress Dragon. So if you make a Sargas, then you can essentially search uh, a card like your Regulus. So if you're not OTKing your opponent, you're also ending on a Regulus, which is an Omni Negate, right? Speaking of Fortress, we're playing two Fortress. It's a level eight uh, Dark, which is really, really powerful. Of course, helps you break a lot of boards. But with Duality, this is gonna be really good because I'll show you guys the Duality targets later, but. Uh, this is really powerful with duality. Then we're playing the two Chimera Tech Rampage Dragon. Again, you can duality into this as well because your Cyber Dragon's a five, so you can duality into this, but Overload Fusion into this is also insanely broken. Uh, we're playing two of the Mega Fleet Dragon. Again, same reason, just all of these cards in here in the extra deck are all just board breakers, which is so, so important. And that's it for the cards that you're actually gonna be summoning on a regular basis. And then with duality, your two targets are Cyber Twin Dragon and Cyber End Dragon. Now, it's so crazy to me that you actually can be playing these two cards, which funny enough, out of all of these cards were pretty much the only actual anime cards. I think Forge Dragon came up once, but you know, Cyber End and Cyber Twin are absolutely insane. And they help you OTK and they help you end games, which is really, really important. And the reason for these that these work essentially is because Cyber Twin is a level eight light. So you can use duality on your Chimera Tech Fortress, but you can also use duality on your Gizmec to make this. And this is gonna help you OTK. Now, if you have a Mega Fleet, Mega Fleet is a level 10, I believe, dark, and Cyber End is a level 10 light. So you can break a board, then use this, go into battle phase, attack, activate duality, duality into Cyber End Dragon. How is that not insane? Like that is so broken, just being able to summon Cyber End and Cyber Twin and just cheating them out is just so, so broken. Uh, so that's it for the extra deck, it's 15 cards. And again, just being able to have access to these two really, really easily in this deck is just way, way too powerful. So that's it. Uh, I do wanna mention though, for the extra deck, actually just before we get out of the extra deck. You guys can play whole Parbinger rather than a Sargas. This is just a card I wanted to show off. Technically, if you're making your rank eight, instead of searching a Regulus with this, you can just make a rank eight Harbinger and then Harbinger is a spell trap negate. Um, it's really up to you what you guys want to choose to play. I just chose to play uh, this because I just feel like Regulus is a lot more powerful, but technically it could be this, right? So I just wanted to give you guys that option as well, but that's it for the extra deck, 15 cards. 
And then lastly for the side deck, um, side deck of course is always gonna be up to personal preference, but these are some things that work really well with this deck. So I like to be Phantasme. Phantasme is really good because it essentially is just as good as the cards that you're gonna be drawing into. And you guys see we're playing a lot of board breakers, especially post side as well, there's more board breakers. So you're gonna be able to draw into a lot of your board breakers, which are absolutely insane, right? So three Phantasme, three Droll and Lockbird, of course as well, because uh, this is just so important in today's format. I don't like maining it because again, I'd rather have the board breakers in the main deck, but there are some decks that if you side this into, it's just an auto win. So that's why I like playing Droll. Uh, we're playing Harpies and two Cosmic, of course. Uh, we want to not lose to Anti-Spell. You guys saw we're playing a lot of uh, spell cards. So Cosmic Cyclone helps you against Anti-Spell. And then lastly, if you're forced to go first, three Rivalry and three D-Barrier. Rivalry just makes a lot of sense because if you activate your Clockwork Knight, you can Rivalry walk your opponent and then a lot of the time they just can't play. So Rivalry, this for going first. I think the side deck here just makes a lot of sense. Honestly, I don't want to explain the side deck too much. Of course, it's all up to personal preference and depending on what your locals is. If your locals is a bunch of cost share players, if it's a bunch of brand new players, you're obviously going to build your side deck based off of your locals, right? So I feel like this side deck just covers a little bit of everything, which is really, really nice. But that's it for the deck profile. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. I think Cyber Dragon is a very underrated deck and I feel like it's one of those decks that not a lot of people are prepared for. And if you take this to your locals, you're actually able to catch a lot of people by surprise. So if you guys enjoyed today's video, make sure to like and subscribe. Thank you, Alpha, for being the cameraman today. I appreciate you as always. Um, that's really all I gotta say. Uh, Zane doesn't have a Zane doesn't have a saying, does he? Get your Zane on. Yeah, okay. Guys, we're signing out. Peace.